Grandmothers, are you one? Is your still a presence literally in your life? Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman, and thank you for joining us for Let's Get Metaphysical show. That's where we're helping you discover the invisible forces driving your life in each moment. And now let's continue. My special guest today has been here a couple times before. In the many years I've known her, she's created more than one movement. In fact, it was Mayana who created a very powerful spiritual presence in Boise, Idaho, and I live there. And it encouraged me to go ahead and do something I'd long wanted to do and become an ordained metaphysical minister. So welcome, welcome, welcome to our show, Mayana Kingery. Oh, thank you, Ali. So good to be with you. Definitely here too. Now, mm -hmm. I called you on your birthday to say hi. And oh my, you gave me a very big surprise. Would you share that with everybody? Oh my, well, we did our last interview together just before Andras, my partner, and I went to Europe. We were taking our second hardest journey through the heart of Mother Earth. In, and we were going to be in Glastonbury on Earth Day. And then, and that's the masculine side of the heart. And Chalice Well is the feminine point in it. And then we were going to Dobogokur, Hungary, which is the feminine heart. And Dobogokur means heart beating stone. And that's the masculine point in the feminine heart. So we took this six week journey to, through Europe and through the heart. And just after our interview, a woman in Australia found the interview. She was awakened at 3 a.m. Her name's Michelle Margaret Juliet. At 3 a.m., she was awakened by spirit and told, go to YouTube. So she went to YouTube, and the first thing she saw was our interview. And she said, oh, this is the one. This is the person. And she reached out to me on Facebook Messenger this was a week before we left towards the end of May. And I don't usually take calls from people I don't know on Messenger yeah. or, or even messages, but I felt to respond. So I did. And we talked for 45 minutes and she told me about this group on Facebook, the Global Grandmothers Council Network. And I was intrigued. I thought it sounded great. And she said she had stepped in in February and it had grown from 1,200 to about 9,000 members just organically. She brought in the Australian indigenous grandmothers to this mostly Turtle Island group. So it was expanding across the globe and she invited me to think about participating. So I thought, oh, great. And she befriended me and she we talked on our journey to Europe and when we got back in June, she introduced me to the founder. And the founder is Suzanne Lewis in Boise, Idaho. <laughs> and I didn't know Suzanne when we were there. I had never met her. But she and Brooke Medicine Eagle and Sharon Raji Maynard had started this Facebook group in 2019. And when I got back, from Europe, there were about 20,000 members. And I was invited to adopt the, the group and bring it under our Peace Production 501c3, make it a program of our organization, and take it into an organizational level. The vision is to have a website that networks local councils on the ground all over the planet. And we are now at 55 and a half thousand members. We have not advertised a thing. And it's just amazing to me how much it's grown and how fast. We're in 48 countries. And now we're getting ready to launch a website. <laughs> it's like, so 
maybe I could share a little bit about why a website and not just the Facebook group. Sure. So Facebook has quite a few limitations. First of all, you can't really find people locally who are, you know, you can't search by location. Um, Mm -hmm. You get a lot of scammers and bots infiltrating. And we came to a point, once we hit the 55 and a half thousand members, then we were listening to the members and we were asking them what they value, what are your values and what do you need? So we're, we're interviewing the members, we're doing Zooms together, and we came to realize that what they really needed was a, a closed space. So the Facebook group was open. There were some men in there that support grandmothers. But then there had got to be a lot of men who were just trying to get dates. (laughs) (laughs) So we spent, we got a team together and we spent about three weeks cleaning up the membership platform part. Um, We started a men's group called Hardists that Andrash is leading. And we invited all of those men who really support the grandmothers to move to that group so the grandmothers could have a uh, women only space because that became very evident that there's healing that has to happen and the healing has to happen without men there because a lot of the damage is caused by men and by our system our patriarchal system so we have to have a private space so we went private as a group That was really hard for those of us who value the masculine support and know men who are balanced and not in the patriarchal system. But, you know, we listened and we honored that need and closed the group. So that's been about three weeks ago that that happened. And as... You know, as we were looking at, okay, so to build a website, what's this going to cost? You know, what's it going to take? And we started to go fund me because, you know, I built a website for the Idaho Highway Safety Coalition and it cost $30,000 for a government website. And I'm like, well, we want to have a marketplace and commute two-way communication. And I don't have a clue what this is going to cost, but it could cost a lot. So let's see if we can actually do that. You know, I've built websites on Weebly and Square and, you know, all these other sites where you just drag and drop and build a simple little website. But that is not what we're looking at. You know, this has to be global and it has to be interactive, two-way communications. So then we were introduced to One Divine. Now, (laughs) this goes into my story, too, because... One divine was guided that she needed to move to Shasta, California, to launch this platform that grandmothers on the other side of the veil have been guiding her into creating for 10 years. (laughs) She's been building this platform for 10 years. And her personal um, website space is Mothership Alliance. Mm -hmm. And she has the Temple Ma. She's all about the mother. And we're all about the grandmother. And so now she has it built. And she's launching her website on 9.9. And she's cloning her website to make a sister site for the grandmothers. And just putting our information and our categories and, you know, our details. But it's the same technology. So... We've been able to get this website for $8,000. Wow. $8,000. Which is like, oh, wow. Wow. This is huge. And we are almost halfway there in our fundraising. We haven't quite got the full amount yet, but we're moving forward as if we have it. And we're paying as we go. So a little bit here, a little bit there. And we're we're really hoping to find a sponsor for the other half. Someone who would say, wow, this is really valuable. 
there are so many potentials and possibilities for what we can do here. And it'll be searchable by location. So local grandmother councils and, you know, grandmother, women of wisdom. It was called Grandmother Council Network because of the indigenous way of honoring elder women. So you don't have to have grandkids. You don't even have to have children. You just have to be a woman with a certain level of wisdom through experience. And you know what your wisdom is. Everybody knows what their own wisdom is. Some are still discovering. And that's what the space is about, is helping people discover that. And so we're going to be networking all these local groups and bringing them together into global events and activities. So we do things all aligned at the same time. And we'll have on the ground events and we'll have an academy for teaching and a marketplace for selling goods and service. And we're going to hire grandmothers whenever we have jobs. We're going to contract with the grandmother members, whoever comes forward. And we are committed that grandmothers deserve to be paid well. That even whether they have degrees or not, I don't care. I don't have degrees, but I have wisdom. And I've put a lot of work into gaining the wisdom I have. And we we have all done that and been not recognized for it. So we're starting out what I consider to be a low consultant rate. So when I worked with the state of Idaho and was a contractor with the transportation department, highway safety, I was contracting for $95 an hour. We're not going to pay that much. We're going to look at it as nonprofit rates, and we're going to pay $40 an hour, eight to 10 hours a week to a variety of people who can do the tasks that we need to have done, and it needs to be secure. You know, we can't trust a, just volunteers to do this work. Volunteers have other things in their lives, and it's not as dependable as someone under a contract to do a task. So we're really turning things upside down and putting the mother or the, the money where the grandmothers can access it and support their lives. How many grandmothers are just on social security? How many just can't even barely survive? And we think it's time to be done with that. And we need to support grandmothers. That makes total, total sense. I have so many friends in their 70s and 80s and even 90s. And I noticed that everybody's getting wiser as they're getting older. And my grandmother, she's been gone a very long time, but she's not gone for my life because I know what her light looks like, and she comes to visit me often. And oh my gosh, what I learned from her, what my mom has to offer, it's, that's just, that needs to happen. And if anybody's going to build it out bigger, having you on the team, I, I just know your record and your love, and it has to come from love. And of course, your, your usual grandmother has so much love and so much wisdom. And we're more than just babysitters, you know? Right. <laughs> we're so much more than babysitters and so much more than just the women to take care of the next generations. We're, we're the women to take care of the next generations. That's huge yeah. because our systems and our structures are not designed to take care of the next generations. And we are pulling together professionals and wisdom keepers in all realms. And our global vision is to make recommendations to the UN and to governments for how to structure our societies, our systems, our found new foundations that have to be built because 
the world is really crumbling fast around us. We see it all over the place. And I know I've talked before about the things that are falling being compost. But we're, we're in the time of the gathering. And we have definitely been gathered into groups as a human species. And the fundamentalists of all faith religions are gathered in one group and everybody else in another group. And I look at it like isolating a virus or isolating some um, ways of being that are not supportive, holistic, nurturing, um, nourishing. And we want to not have that be a part of the foundation of the new society that's growing from the ground up. And it's already happening and it's already growing. We just have to look at it as a garden and say, oh, what seeds do we want to plant where? So yeah. we're the garden of the grandmas. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just realizing because I'm part of a business that totally is all about this. And there was an international team made a video this week addressing everything that you just said and it's just hitting me it was three men and there are men who have the same values we have but it was three men and it's time for the grandmother's voices to be heard so all of our we're, we're we are forming councils so right now we are suzanne lewis in Boise, Sharon Raji Maynard in Washington. And Brooke Medicine Eagle was a part of the founding of it. And she's a part of the business that you're a part of. <laughs> she, I just saw a video with her talking about the patches. Taking a quick break there. Remember, the struggle is optional. Take a look at my hair. If you're here every week, you're watching the video, you're noticing it's getting darker and darker. And I don't put creams or anything on my face, but you can see I'm also looking younger and younger. And when I went to the dentist last week, he told me that my teeth and my gums look good. How many 73-year-olds get that kind of report from their holistic dentist? Suffering is optional. Struggle is optional. You be sure and contact me. And we'll get you to a place of feeling good again. Growing older, losing all of your strengths and your comforts and aspects of your health. It's a choice you're making. I'll show you how to choose something different. And I've had a couple of people step up to help me really strongly and that's Sandra Lobb and Susan Meeker Lowry they have been with me weekly sometimes twice weekly now sometimes three times weekly laying out the foundation for the website getting the structure getting our policies and procedures in place and languaging Sharon Raji Maynard gathered the values and her team created our mission and vision and personal declaration. So we have those things together and can take that language as the foundation of what we're moving into the website with instead of members and non-members, there's those who support. So there are three levels of support for the website. The free level, you can get in, you can see the, the social media stream. We have social media stream like Facebook. You can go to the marketplace. You can buy a gift for someone from a grandmother in a, next door or in another part of the country. When you sign up for your membership, you put your level, your areas of interest and your location so you can be drawn to the things that you want to see. And, and you don't have to look at things you're not interested in. Instead of like Facebook, you see everything everybody does. And so the free, that's the free membership. 
and you you pay full price at the store you pay full price at the academy for classes and but you can come in for free and then there's a 13 or 13 dollar supporter <laughs> and with that you can post things for sale in under a group leaders marketplace then i'll tell about the group leaders in a moment so you can put things put your your gifts and talents can go up for sale in the marketplace. You can start a group of your own. You have to manage it if you start a group. And you get discounts when you um, sign up for classes or events and buying through the marketplace. There'll be discounts for members. And then the third level is a group leader. So a group leader is someone who has their gifts already collected they teach classes they have product for sale and they may have people that already follow them that they bring with them and there's a variety of levels of way for them to earn income through this so that level is 33 dollars a month or for an annual fee and between 9 9 september 9th and october 10th our pre-launch there are discounts even on that for people who sign up ahead of our full launch on October 10th. Sure. I, I want to thank you so very much for being you and for all that Andras is doing and everything you're doing together. And I just want to be sure to support you and get the word out and everything that you're doing because people need to know in a way with the 5G and the EMFs in your environment, in your house, in your car, on your devices. Well, you can see that link right here in the show notes and do something about it because your life isn't going to change because you're thinking about it. You got to take action. You got to know why you want to take action. You want to see yourself healthy. You want to see yourself protected and then be sure you click the link in the show notes and get the products that to work that I've been using for a long, long time. The advantage of Audible's gift to you, 30 whole days, a whole month's trial for free. You get to choose your own audio book. Remember to join our Facebook group. I put some extras in there every month and also make a new friend, start a discussion. And if you got any questions, ask me. You can go to our show site where you can watch or listen to any episode. And while you're there, if you leave us a review so others can find us more easily, that's really helpful for us, for you, for your friends. And you can join ALITLC Club. And for just $7 a month, your membership brings you into a private place where you get to see books, videos that just aren't available anyplace else. Remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment. Because nothing in your life ever happens out there. It all comes into your body as impulses, as electrical signals. And your body is able to interpret them so you can experience all of those feelings to see, taste, touch, smell. I look forward to being here with you next time.